I was watching Oppenheimer the other day, a wonderful piece of storytelling with a profound message for our times on the dangers of nuclear proliferation. What would you do in the event of a nuclear explosion? Go outside and welcome it and say, I've had <laughs> getting on for 62 years of fun. <laughs> Let's end it all. <laughs> that wasn't Oppenheimer, obviously. That was Check It Out, a youth programme shown in the northeast of England, my neck of the woods, in July of 1980. It's hard to get across to young people today, the kids today, just how inevitable nuclear war seemed in the 1980s. And Check It Out is an amazing time capsule because it shows young people how to build a nuclear bomb shelter. There's camping gear here, plenty of sleeping bags, blankets, warm clothes, saucepans, plates, etc. And of course, a first aid kit. And if the first aid kit doesn't work, the pamphlet even tells you how to dispose of and label any dead bodies. Oh, what a horrible thought. Was this the golden age of nuclear paranoia? I wasn't around for the Cuban Missile Crisis, so it's hard for me to say. If there was a nuclear war, what horrors could we expect? This pamphlet would be given to every household if war threatened, with hints on turning your home into a shelter. I can remember one of our school science teachers standing in a corridor one day saying, well, if the dude dropped the bomb, I want to be right underneath it. I couldn't care less. I'll tell you now. Because if there was a new attack on Britain, we'd all finish. I could have been him, actually. Anyway, the British government's official advice came in the form of a leaflet and a series of short films called Protect and Survive. Don't forget to leave an easy way into and out of your refuge. Much of this Check It Out show is devoted to local officials planning for a Soviet nuclear attack and to a vox pop in the streets of Durham. I would make for the nearest shelter in the bottom of our garden, I think. But the undoubted highlight of the show comes towards the end when the presenters, Lynn Spencer and Chris Cowie, who'd go on to be a prominent producer of TV music shows, describe how to protect yourself in your home from a nuclear blast and the ensuing fallout. The pamphlet lists the survival kit you're going to need, like 15 gallons of water. That's about two pints per person per day. Enough tinned and dried food for 14 days. That's quite a shopping list, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that was wearing Geordie jeans. Geordie jeans! a radio and lots of spare batteries because that's your only contact with the outside world to keep in touch with news of attacks and government broadcasts. And a mechanical clock and calendar so that you can keep track of the days and nights. One of the few times I've gone viral on Twitter was in 2021 when I posted a clip of this and suddenly from all over the Western world there were Generation Xs saying, hey kids, look at this, it really was this crazy in the 1980s, we've tried to tell you. Hygiene in a small space like this is going to be vital. So a plastic dustbin and bags for rubbish are on the list as well. And a suggestion for a homemade chemical toilet, a chair without a seat and a plastic lined bucket. Water supply is very important, so they suggest you wash up plates with a box of sand and paper tissues. Yuck. I wish I was wearing Geordie jeans. Geordie jeans! Various people tipped off Chris Cowie that this conversation was going on, and so he contributed to it. Uh, he didn't remember recording the show at all, but he did describe himself as the teenage presenter with the pawn tash, which I thought was nice. Countries like Sweden, Switzerland and Russia already have plans for the evacuation of their population. Mass shelters have been built and houses have their own custom-built shelters. It makes this kind of preparation look a bit like Toy Town, doesn't it? It certainly does, Chris. As an aside, I was in the studio with Lynn Spencer about a year and a half later. I was 13 and in the audience of the pop show, Razzmatazz. Oh, how awful! There I am with my schoolmates. What do you mean you can't see me? Let's zoom in. Yeah, mortifying, isn't it? The horrors of the 1980s. <laughs>